Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaw here, and yet another supplement company this month has been nailed for putting uh, drugs in their products. And in this case, it was Duracap, and actually this time they went after the owners of the company and the founders rather than the company itself because they're the ones they linked to it. And what they found in their products, and they actually had warrants for it because they knew what they were doing, was a substance by the name of Superdrol. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Superdrol, it's an extremely powerful anabolic, probably milligram for milligram, the single most powerful oral anabolic ever made. It's also extremely toxic. It is far, far more toxic to your liver and your system, milligram for milligram, than most others as well. Actually, pretty much just about any so it's actually quite dangerous for you. It has a very negative effect on your liver. It has an extremely negative effect on HDL, good cholesterol. It has a lot of problems associated with it. Uh, it but it's very strong milligram for milligram. And the reason it's been put in so many supplements is that this was a legal over-the-counter supplement because it was ruled to be too toxic by the FDA when it was invented to be used for therapeutic reasons. It wasn't used as an actual prescription drug anywhere. So it fell into a gray area for for quite a few years and a bunch of supplement companies picked it up and if you guys remember it was actually legal in most natural bodybuilding federations for a long time because it was an over-the-counter supplement even though it was a stronger anabolic than many of the others out there and so you're finding supplement companies who are putting it in there the reason is it is easily available still out there in raw form it's since in such small doses are effective it is an extremely cost effective way to spike supplements the problem is that it is actually more dangerous than 95 percent of the various anabolics out there so people are getting a drug that they don't know they're getting that is actually far more harmful to their body than if they had just gone and bought the actual illegal black market stuff but because, again, they can buy kilograms of the powder from uh, certain manufacturers and companies who can make it very, very cheaply, it's used to spike products. And in this case, they got caught because they knew they were putting it in there. And so you're going to see this with a lot of these SARM companies because SARMs themselves are not that effective and they're not very cost effective. They can spike this stuff with super droll and just pretend they're selling SARMs and people will get these amazing benefits. The product will get this good reputation. And remember what you guys remember all the stuff I said about BioGrow back in the day? Think about to go read up on the side effects of super droll and the benefits of super droll and then go read what people were describing happening when they were getting the good batches of BioGrow when it first came out. And tell me there's not uh, some potential overlap as far as the actual side effects they were getting, including the sample sealed that they sent to a lab for independent testing for people to take, but they didn't actually test the product itself to see what was in it. And they described muscle gains and side effects that the researchers couldn't actually explain based upon the ingredients. Well, think about that. And stop and think about how many various muscle builders out there are being touted as having these amazing gains that really can't be described by what's in them and people getting these intense pumps and everything went on them and realize how many companies are doing exactly what this one just got popped for. Uh, I think that's an important point that people need to think about when you're buying these over-the-counter supplements. Not only are you potentially putting drugs in your system that you can get uh, nailed for on a drug test, you're taking, and if they're spiking it with this, you're taking one of the most toxic and dangerous anabolics ever made that's actually worse for you than most of the stuff that's out there on the black market, considerably worse. And you're paying a high premium for it because it's being spiked in a supplement for profit so they're going to make money off of it and let's hope the fda cracks down on more of this and they hit more of these companies not just the, the smaller ones like uh, duracap but hopefully they start going after these big companies that are producing products that actually give people muscle gains and side effects when in reality there's nothing on their ingredients list that's capable of doing so this needs to be hit far more often more early as soon as these products come out people start reporting gains the fda should be on top of them with a warrant because we all know that the supplements that people are producing aren't medically capable of giving you muscle gains and so if they are and people are noticing dramatic gains that should be the hint that the fda needs to issue a warrant for their manufacturing facility, people gaining significant amounts of muscle and reporting pumps and cramps from the product. Those should be the all that you need really to issue a warrant because you know they're spiking it with something and there's a very high possibility they're spiking it with super droll at that point. Exactly like we saw with this product. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.